I told you I'm from a family of 11 kids, and I have two older sisters. I don't get along with my older sister, my oldest one. I don't give up. I'm trying my best not to whoop her ass. I hope you'll get along with your siblings. I hope you do. And my sister get on my fucking nerve. Boy, she's always on my. And she still thinks I'm five years old. She put a little thing in my forehead every time I see her, and she puts back, "You dumb, 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 dumb." I'm telling you, before I die, I'm gonna whip her ass. <laughs> my sister is so religious. I'm talking. I ain't never seen it. I hope she get to heaven. Please let her get to heaven. <laughs> Every time I see my sister, she's like this, oh, he knows everything. He knows everything. There was nothing made that he didn't make. He made everything. We're in line at McDonald's. And the little kid behind the counter said, ma'am, 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 can I take your order? Oh. He knows everything. He told me to get a double cheeseburger. <laughs> Super size. Oh, he know everything. Hey. And my sister's mad at me because I'm not as religious as she is. You ever see people always trying to get you to go to church? You ever see them always trying to get you to go to church? She's only trying to frighten me. Like God is after me. My little black ass in Sherman Oaks, he's the master of the whole universe. God is gonna get you. He looking for you, God, gonna get you. God told me to tell you, he gonna get you, he gonna, I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just got in town. <laughs> this is not quoting the Bible. Matthew 12 and 16 told me to tell you that. God, and your disciples walked into the name. That's why you got to stand up and hand on to you, handle your business, and God will tell you the life. That, and then she put a finger in my forehead. Da, 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 da. I said, what the fuck you talking about? <laughs> Where's my $50 you owe me? <laughs> what did he say about my $50? <laughs> I'm gonna get you too. You're talking about somebody embarrassing, boy. My, my sister, you ever go to a funeral, one person can't control their emotions. My grandmother lived to be 100 years old. She lived to be 100 years old. That's a beautiful life to live. That's right. You do not cry at a funeral like that. You celebrate her life. 300 people in the church, 300, mourning peacefully. Only one person on the fucking floor. My sister rolling back and forth on the fucking floor. Crack, <laughs> Runs all in her stockings. One shoe off and big old toe sticking through the fucking stocking. Everybody let her mourn all that fucking noise she's making. Everybody try and let her mourn peacefully. I'm t I couldn't take that shit no more. I got down on the floor with her ass. I said, get the fuck up off that fucking floor. <laughs> you're embarrassing the whole family. Get your ass up off that fucking floor. She lived to be 100. What do you want, 150? Get the fuck up off that fucking floor. <laughs> you ever go to a funeral now? Did just now? Everybody trying to mourn peacefully. Preacher about to give the eulogy. Women got their big hats on their head and they're fanning themselves. My sister, just before he got up to give the eulogy, jumped up out of her fucking seat, ran down the aisle, and started talking out of her head. Mama said, la, 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 la. You can't be dead, Grandmama. Get up, Grandma. Let's go home, Grandmama. Get up, Grandmama. You can't be dead. Baba Kaba, Baba Kaba, Baba Kaba, Baba Kaba. Her wig was on the side of her fucking head. She had bobby pins all over the fucking floor. Grandmama, let's go home. Get up, Grandmama. Baba Kaba, Baba. So the preacher gave me a sign. Mr. Willis, would you please stop your sister? I have another service. Stop your sister. Shit. Get your ass up here and sit down. Sit your ass up. You're embarrassing the whole family. Sit, would you shut the fuck up for me? Get up, grandmama. Get up, grandmama. If she got up, you'd be the first one to run out of here. Yeah. Now, grab my sister by the sleeve. Just settle down. I got you by the sleeve now. Go ahead, your, your honor, your majesty, whatever you call yourself these days. <laughs> 